So guys, uh, all of that work paid off on the, the trailer and the gooseneck build because um, today I was able to pick up my neighbor's trailer and kind of move it around a little bit and I drove it around a couple circles and I drove it and I tried to get it parked in our driveway but I ended up getting kind of I didn't, I didn't say, Sean, my husband says I didn't get stuck, but I think I got stuck. I just kind of got, I couldn't figure out how to get it straightened out. So I ended up doing like, he said a 180 <laughs> in my driveway. And I guess that's impressive. I don't know. But there it is. There's the truck. And uh, it's a stock trailer. And he could put like five, six horses in there. And there's enough room for four. Um, this little bit here, he had that blocked off because he puts... Um, when he goes to rodeos and stuff like that and he takes his horses there, he packs up all his personal belongings all the way up until there. And then he has like a water tank heater and stuff like that in there and it's, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, let me turn this around you can see the whole thing. Okay, so there's Farmer Bob and my neighbor's trailer doing the things that need to be done. Um, so it's got a sleeper stuff. I guess there's like all sorts of stuff in there. I don't know. Um, and it's an older trailer, but I have plenty of, plenty of space and I'm really surprised on how well it drives. I mean, I was worried that it was going to be weird with this being back here, but, um, because of the type of ball that I have, it swivels in the, the, the bed. So it actually makes that part easier to turn. And, um, it's actually really comfortable it's like I, for, I figured I'd be intimidated by seeing all that and so close to my the back window but it's like I can't even tell that it's back there to tell you the truth believe it or not and this is a big steel one this isn't one of those like feather light trailers or the ones that are all aluminum I mean this is freaking that's freaking see look he's got like all sorts of stuff he's got metals and ribbons and his barrel racers are amazing horses so um yeah so i'm really excited and i left the trailer here uh, simply because i want to um clean it out it's it's fairly clean but you know me i like to make sure it's like absolutely clean and i'm gonna sanitize it and everything make sure that there's no other germs and um and then i'm gonna take the horses and i'm gonna get them used to it that way, come 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm not trying to figure out how to get them in there by myself 7 o'clock in the morning to get to the farrier at 8.30. So um, I want to say massive thank you to my neighbor for helping me get this all hooked up and teaching me how to do it. And um, yeah, this is a step in the, the right direction. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd just show that to you guys. And um, I'll do a quick little video on showing you how to get a horse that's never loaded on a trailer like this before to teach them how to get onto it. Now my guys are used to being on a white trailer, something that's much wider. This is a little bit more narrow. Jarvis won't be able to turn around. Um, so it's a little different and I'll explain that to you when I have them both out. That way I can show you. So, okay. See you in a minute.
little bit, and then we'll bring the boys in. Okay guys, well, welcome to Inside the Trailer. Um, you've seen the outside, now you've seen the inside. Now, this is what it looks like when the horse is actually in the trailer. So, I figured I'd give you guys a different shot, because usually I video from outside and I, you guys watch the horses come in. So this time, I'm inside, they've never seen this trailer before, there's a lot of other weird things in here that they're not used to seeing. So I wanted you guys to see it from their perspective as they come in and what they're going to see. So we've got cool little vents up here. We've got this thing over here that covers his view. So he's gonna have to look that way. Um, we've got this plate here, which could or could not be a problem uh, simply because they could run into that. They could hurt themselves, they could rub onto it, you know, a leg could hit it or something like that. That's, for me, I don't like that there, but if it were just for cattle or whatnot, um, that's perfectly fine. And if it were closed, if this were all closed in like this, um, this would be on the other side. So you wouldn't be able to run into that at all, but you'd still have the handle on that side. But we're not gonna close this, we're gonna keep it all completely open, um, just for safety. All right, let's go get the boys.
crazy. Uh, Darcy did not want to stay for very long. He wanted to just get off. Um, a lot of horses will get on and then turn around and want to get off right away. It's not that they're afraid. It's just that there's something that's used to when the trailer stopped, they're used to just getting off. So I took that as a training opportunity to just get him to stand still for a minute and back up. Every time I went to go take a step forward to get off, I had him back up. And then when I got that standing still for a split second, he started licking and chewing. And that's when I, I let him off because that's when the learning took place. And uh, yeah, so that was easy. Uh, they pooped in the barn. <laughs> So I had to scoop that out, but uh, other than that, it was pretty easy. So kind of just goes to show that even though it's a different kind of trailer, it looks so different um, that once they're used to loading and unloading onto a very scary box, they're pretty okay. And as long as you're confident and you just walk them right in, like nothing's wrong, nothing's different, honky dory, then they'll follow you right in. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, this is a quick little episode. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will always answer them as quickly as possible. So we'll see you next time on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses.